Hi everyone. So welcome back to the new video lecture of Resume Building. And uh, I hope all of you have made your accounts on Overleaf now, and you have registered. And now once you register, okay, the first ever page that comes to you is the project page where it tells you to have a look at the templates or just create your first project. So instead of creating the first project, let's first have a look at the templates. So I click on the templates, I open this particular page, okay. These are all the popular templates. So Overleaf and Latex is actually not used just for resume building. It's actually used for a lots of stuff. Like if you want to, if you maybe want to go into research or something, you want to publish some journal, you want to go into any other stuff of publishing, you can use this. And bibliography, you want to write a book, so go ahead and resume of course a formal letter you want to write you want to do your homework assignment and newsletters posters so many things are there okay thesis and all you can do via this so it's a very easy platform there are lots i do like this because i personally use this and it's quite easy okay easy to use and quite user friendly right so what our task is we need to make the resume so i click on this particular thing all right so when I click here, so I get a lots of templates of resume and slash CV. So whichever you like, whichever you like, okay, you can choose. There are like so many are there. You can go to the next page. Various are there. So all these templates are actually the latest ones, right? Whichever template you feel you're comfortable in, right? So go ahead and choose that. It's okay. Any template you like, any color you like, any particular thing you like, you can, right? So, for example, I like this one, this Benjamin Park. I go here and, okay, once I click on this one, let me show you. It tells me, it gives me three options. Open as template, view the source or download PDF. Of course, we are going to download the PDF later on once we edit it. So, first we need to edit it according to our own requirement, right? So, we edit it as open as template, okay? I go there and it opens something like this, all right? It opens something like this. So the first ever things. So don't don't get scared. What is this? I'm not able to understand. Don't worry. I'm gonna tell you each and everything. Forget about these. The comments in latex are written using percentage. This is for adding a comment. Okay. So forget about this for now. They have just declared some fonting and editing for you. Depending on the template you have chosen, the editing and formatting is already done. Okay. Then we go ahead and uh, okay. This is the name right so now you need to edit your name so for example i want to write jodi okay let me see just click on recompile it's going to compile for you it's going to take some time and compiles and gives you the latest one jodi park whatever be your surname you can write so similarly uh, whatever name you wish to you want to write only the first name just delete this part delete this one only the first name you can write right anything okay so next uh, you can also add a photo here so you can also choose a template which contains the photo if you want to add a photo if you don't want to add it's okay you can choose this one in this template also you can add a photo for example using this percentage and photo so photo can be in a rectangle format and a circle format you don't have to do any such stuff it'll do the task for you you just have to tell that it's in rectangle and all right and just choose the path where photo is okay you need to upload your photo from here right then uh, you can choose the position software architect software engineer software developer whatever be your position uh, currently and if you're a fresher it's okay you choose your college role right so this position is going to come at this particular place and just below your name the position comes software architect for example it's written here then your phone number then your email and if you have a website you can write the id in the uh, website and the github link the linkedin GitLab, Stack Overflow, Twitter, Skype, anything you feel that this is like wonderful in me, just keep on going and edit it. Okay. Uh, if you don't want to add, if you want to remove something, just click, just put here and click type percentage. That's it. So that becomes a comment then. Okay. That's how it goes on. And um, you don't want to mention a code that's mentioned here. So leave it, comment it. Now the document begins, the main document begins. So we have around 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 things in this document. This is a very big resume. We don't want all these stuffs. Okay. This is a software architect resume. You can choose any resume. 
and you can actually put what are the things you want for example i you don't have any experience it's okay just delete this part you have, want to write some summary honors presentation writing committees education extracurricular whatever you want to keep keep else edit so what they have done they have just actually in each section this is a section this has been imported separately each of them is a separate file now where do you get these files to edit so these will be there in this resume folder all these files are there present here so any particular file you click on you can edit for example i have clicked on hair experience file right i go on and uh, instead of software developer for example you can see the software developer here the company name the organization is written just below this i have written the software developer so instead of software developer if i put software architect and i recompile it so it actually gives me software architect right so whatever you currently you have an experience you write it down you don't have just forget it click on education so whatever college or whatever degree you possess at this particular point just mention that in the education part so for example bsc in computer science this is where education is being mentioned this is here right so you can actually mention whatever be your education just btech bsc bca mca whatever it is you can mention it here you can mention the university you can mention what time you took that the time period okay and whatever scholarship anything you have you can mention this in this particular point it all comes over here right it gets changed according to your uh, basic cv okay so this is how education comes this is experience or any other thing you want you can edit from here you don't want just comment at all you don't have to edit that okay so however what i suggest in your resume it should definitely include your education your projects if you are not uh, an an experienced one you are a fresher so your projects should include right so instead of experience you can write their projects and the person this person has written experience this much experience is there so instead of this thing your projects are going to come and give a brief brief description of the projects for example the three four projects that we did you can write it down of machine learning deep learning the guest game and uh, the playing with graphs project all these projects you can mention over here okay and this is how it's going to look like instead of experience you can put that if you have experience along with experience you can put your projects as well okay so this is how you choose any template any format any project you want to mention you can this is how it works okay perfect all right so your cv is done and just recompile and then simply download your pdf and your pdf file would be available to you in the pdf format because you cannot give this link to anybody you want to share the pdf right so just share the pdf with the higher uh, wherever you are applying and etc so this pdf you can download from here and just share the pdf across all the hiring platforms as well as whenever you are applying this thing you should have in your hand which is should be handy okay so resume is you know uh, just should contain your name and uh, whatever you are doing right now with your major projects focus should be on your projects okay then of course you can add your honors and all whatever achievements you have definitely you can add and if you have experience you can add that and uh, one more thing it's like it should include your skills like uh, for example uh, you are good enough in uh, python and machine learning data structures problem solving uh, so all these things should come all right so okay i hope it's very clear to how to make a resume and how to get it done and how to download it from this how to make it an overleaf in latex right so just after this session i want each one of you to make your resume in latex right now on overleaf all right so take care guys um see you and um, good luck take care bye bye i wish all of your you know you achieve your dream careers in your life good luck bye